Hi students, welcome back to my channel. Okay, in this video, so would like to explain a question from the chapter integration. Okay, so we are facing some problem on the rotation of the volume. So I'm going to discuss this question more detail on the volume part. Okay, so before we go into the questions, I'm going to discuss with you what you call uh, some examples when we need to do a rotation of 360 or 180. Okay, let, let, let me give you some idea first, okay? Okay, look at this few example first, okay? Now, if you look at this example, okay, if you think that one portion of the, any side, for example, let's say you want to rotate this in uh, with the Y axis, that means you're going to rotate with Y axis, okay, with the Y axis. So it is the y axis, right? Class, this is your y axis. This is your y axis, right? It is your y axis. So if you want to rotate towards y axis, you see this is a one side portion of your y axis. That means this is a one side of your y axis. Okay, one side of your y axis. So if one side of y axis, you're going to rotate them using a y axis with a 360 like this. So this is a 360 position. So that means this is a 360 because only one, right? Only one. So I can take this, I can rotate like this with the 360. Understand? Okay, so this is this one, you have to rotate with 360 degree. Okay, simple, right? Okay, same goes to this. Look at this next diagram, same goes to this. Because your next diagram also, you have one side only, you have one side shallow region, right? So still the same process, you're going to rotate them with the 360 degree, okay? So 360 degrees. So this is also going to be 360 degrees. Okay, so hope that you understand. Huh? If one side shaded means you have to rotate them with 360 degrees. Okay, now in this question, in this question, look at this shaded region. Okay, I'm going to rotate them using Y axis. We're going to rotate using Y axis, right? We're going to rotate using Y axis. Okay, but if you refer to your Y axis, you can see both sides are shaded region. You have two shaded region side. That means uh, on the y axis, you have two sides of shadow region. Understand? Okay, in this case, this one portion, this one, for example, this one I, I put as A and this one I put as a B, right? So I can take this A, I can rotate them with 180. Okay, and the B will go another 180. So that means uh, two portions have to rotate simultaneously. Okay, that means your A will go 180, another B will go 180. Okay, in this case, in this case, in this case, you are 180 in the question, exam question, they will put rotate with 180 degree. So you no need to divide by two. You don't confuse, you no need to divide by two because uh, for this rotation of 180 is actually equivalent to 360 degree. Can you get the idea? Okay, because in exam, in exam, they will put as, as rotated, uh, rotated with the 180 degree. Exam, they will put 180 degree. Most of the students will confuse. Okay, when they say rotated with 180 degree, most of the student will take the formula. For example, this is the formula of pi, they're the formula of volume, right? For example, for example, is x squared dy, right? So they will divide by two. Why they divide by two? Because they are they're asking us to rotate with 380. But in actual scenario, this, this 180 is actually equivalent to 360. Understand? That means, let's say the question said, rotated with 180, you have to think first. You have to refer back. You must see whether it's one side or two side. If already if already with the two side means, so that means two side means it's actually equal to 360. Okay, maybe you can ask me a question. So how about in this question? If I said rotate with 180, okay, if this question rotate with 180, okay, this question, you, when you rotate completely, is going to be 360, right? So you, this one, you need to divide by two. That's why you need to divide by two, pi over two. It's a BA, uh, what do you call X square dy. Okay, in this case, in this scenario, you have to divide by two because this one is going to be 360. You have to divide by two, understand? But in this case, it's different issue because your 180 is equal to 360. Okay, I give you uh, this type of picture. Okay, listen here, okay? Now this is your x axis. Okay, I this is a this this one I, I project from on top on top of the on top of here on top of here. So this is a, when you rotate it's going to be a circle, right? Okay, when you wait, uh, I erase this part over here, make it clear. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do here for you here is, you see here, so when you rotate, right, when you rotate, this one going to be a, a what do you call a, like a circle, right? It's like a circle. So I project out the circle like this. Okay, I project out the circle. Okay, this is the, your, what do you call your center of this is your Y axis. Okay, this is your Y axis. Okay, and this portion I put in a blue color for you, easy for you to understand this one, huh? this one. Okay, this one I put it in a blue color. Okay, and uh, another part I put as uh, another green color over here. Okay, so we have two color, right? So that means this is my green color. I put it here for you. So this is my green color over here and the blue color is over here. Right, okay, you understand, right? So this is the blue and... It's actually the projection, actually. It's a call projection. So now what I'm going to do here, you see, huh? I'm going to rotate them. Okay, listen, this blue color, when you rotate 180, it will go until here. This is your 180 of your blue color, right? Your blue color, when you rotate, right? When your blue color, never mind. I put in a different color for you. Okay. Let's look here. So this blue color, when you rotate, is going to be 180 like this, right? And the green color also, when you rotate, is going to be 180 on that side. So when 280 rotate together, it's going to be combined as a 360. So that's what I'm telling you here. So that means your 180 here is actually equal to 360. Your 180 here is equal to 360. Understand? So careful on the questions. You have to see the question first. You have to see the situation of the question. Okay, look at this one. This one, they need to do a volume, okay, of what do you call it? Uh, Two side, two equal side. Okay, this is a two equal side. So that means what will happen here? The question will ask you to rotate for 180. The question asks you to rotate for 180. So don't confuse. Don't go and divide the answer with the two because this 180 is actually equivalent to 360 degree. Understand? Because this one part will be 180. This another part will be another 180. So 280 going to be 360. Understand, class? So hope that you can understand this video, okay? So let us move on to the question. Okay, so look at this question. Okay, diagram two shows a side elevation of the inner surface of the bowl, which can be represented by the equation of y is equal to kx squared. Okay, this equation, this, this surface equation here, this surface equation, they're going to use as a y is equal to kx squared. Okay, kx square. Okay, given the diameter of the bowl is 40 centimeter and the deep of the bowl is 25 centimeter, show that the k equals to 1 over 16. Okay, so let us start. So I'm going to give you one idea, guys. Okay, so this is the equation of, the equation is y equals to kx square, right? Okay, this is the equation y is equals to kx square, right? Okay, you, you can see yourself, there's no intercept here. There's no intercept. You're supposed to have a C over here. So no intercept means, that means it's actually zero. So that means your graph intercept, X, Y axis at the zero. So that means I'm going to draw a axis for this uh, bowl, make it easy for us. Okay, look at this question. Okay, I'm going to draw, okay. Okay, this one is a x axis. I'm going to draw x axis over here and then follow by my y axis over here. Okay, so I think you can understand, right? Okay, this is the part where zero, this is the zero. Okay, this is because uh, no intercept, right? I told you, right? No intercept. You can you can use that idea. There's no intercept, it's zero. Okay, fine. Huh? And then they say the diameter is a diameter is 40. Okay, this is the bowl and this is the diameter. This is the diameter part. This is the diameter. So the diameter is 40, right, guys? Okay, 40 means what I'm going to do because this is a symmetry of a uh, symmetrical, uh, what you call uh, quadratic, right? The curve graph. So what we're going to do here, okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to put a dotted line over here, over here, and over here. Okay, you know why? Because the, the length over here is a 40. So if this length is 40 means this guy will be taken 20 over here. This one is going to be negative 20 over here, right? Understood, right? Okay, done. So your next one is because the total of this, the difference between these two is 40, done. 
Okay. So your next information given is uh, the deep of the bowl. This is a, called the deep. This is the deep of the bowl. Uh, deep of the bowl is 25. That means this portion here is a 25 centimeter. Sorry, 25. Yes, 25 centimeter. Got it? Okay, done. Okay, what I can see over here, what I can see over here, any, any of this point, this point or this point is up to you. You can take any point. Okay, you have to know the coordinate first. Okay, this point, this point, the coordinate of this point, you must understand the coordinate here. Okay, this coordinate. Okay, this coordinate. Okay, wait, guys. Okay. So I put it here, easy for me. Okay, and the coordinate over here is going to be 20, 25. It's 20, 25. This is the coordinate. Okay, since this is the coordinate belongs, belongs to this a curve, we can take this one and substitute inside our curve equation. Understand? Okay, let us start on huh? question A. So it's y equals to k x square, right? Okay, your y is going to represent by 25. Okay, and your x is going to be 20 square. Okay, it's 25 equals to 400 because 20 square is 400 k so your k going to be 25 divided by 400 25 divided by 400 going to be 1060 1060 so this is the answer and we already shown the answer the set done this is your answer of question number question a okay guys settle Okay, determine the volume in centimeter cube of the water of the water needed to fill up the bowl to the deep of 12 centimeter. Now the deep is 12 centimeter, you know, it's actually 12 centimeter is supposed to be below, right? Supposed to be below here. I can put anywhere, for example, let's say I put it here. Okay, this is the 25 centimeter. So it's going to be like this, right? So this is your 25, guys. This is your 25 centimeter. Sorry, sorry, not 25, sorry. It's 12 centimeter. 12, right? It's 12 centimeter. Okay, so we're going to find this volume now. We're going to find this volume. Okay, hope that you can see the, the, the shaded region, right? Okay, so this one you can you're going to rotate them. You're going to rotate them 360. Right? You're going to rotate them 360 to get the entire volume. Okay, so okay, always remember, always remember when you want to do the volume formula, so you have to decide which axis you are taking now. Let's say you are taking y axis. Actually, we have two formula of volume given given in doing the formula. So this is the first formula. Let me give you the formula. Yeah, I write the formula over here. So V is equals to pi between the is between uh, B and A. Uh, what do you call X square? Sorry, not X. I start with the Y first. Y square EX. This is the first formula. And then my second formula is going to be V equals to pi with the B A X square DY. Understand? So we already have two formula over here. Okay, the first formula, look at this one by one, guys. Okay, this is your first formula. And this is your second formula. Okay, you should understand when, when you have to use the x formula and y formula. Okay, this dx is represent the x axis. This is x axis formula. And the dy is represent the y axis. So now we are, we are going to use a y axis, right? We're going to use the y axis, right, guys? Okay. So for the y axis, I'm going to use this uh, second formula. Okay, so let me write first the formula. You always must start with the formula so that's easy for you to understand. Start with formula V, I, with the BA, x square dy, right guys? Okay, done. Huh? Okay, so now your thing is very simple, guys. You need to do a substitution. Okay, since you are using a, a y axis, right? So this is the value in the y axis now we're going to use from 0 to 12. So that is your a and b. And I need the x square. Okay, can you can you go back to this formula? You go back to this formula. Okay, what I'm going to do here, y 
equals to your k is 116. With the x square. So if you rearrange this formula, you rearrange this equation, you're going to get x square. You're going to get x square equals to 16y. Understand? You're going to get 16y. So that means you're going to take all this. You're going to take all this. You're going to substitute inside here. Your x square going to be here. You're going to substitute inside here. Understand? Okay. So we're going to start doing the, our integration by by so between a b and a. Your b and a over here. That is 12 and 0. So you have to remember the the b is the highest value, right? So always remember on top should be highest value is 12 with the 0. With the x square is a 16y with the dy. So we're going to do the integration now. So you can take out the 16 if you want. If you want to take out the 16, you can take out the 16 y, 16 pi. You can put it outside here. Okay. You can put 16 pi outside or you want to put inside also can up to you. No problem. No issue at all. Okay, so 16y going to be 16y square over 2. You need to substitute with the 12 and 0. All right, understand? 12 and 0. So now, you can actually can simplify this whole thing plus, not say whole thing, you can simplify this. This one, when you simplify this one, going to be 8, right? Okay, this one going to be 8, okay? So let me start with my pi here. Okay, when I substitute 12, when I substitute 12 inside there, so it's 8 times 12 square. What do you get? You get 1152. Minus, when you substitute 0, it's going to be 0. So that means your final answer, your final answer, sorry, the pi should be at behind, huh? Your final answer should be 1152 pi with the centimeter cube. Okay, this is your final answer, guy. Hmm, this is your final answer. So I just recap again one more time. So I make it smaller for you to see the entire calculation. Okay, this is my calculation for this question. Okay, so hope that you can uh, understand the solution of for this uh, integration part, okay? So this is a SPM 2014 clone question actually, almost same like the SPM 2014 clone, clone question, okay? So try to do a few times for you to comfortable with this type of question, guys. Okay, thank you guys, have a nice day.